So I'm hyperventilating a little bit. If I fall over, pick me up because I've got some things to say. Now that the 90th Academy Awards have officially come to an end, look no further because we've got all the winners for you right here. Yeah, there were some snubs and some losses, but now it's time to concentrate on all the winners. As most of you know, the biggest award on Oscars night is, without a doubt, Best Picture. And this year, the Oscar went to, drumroll please, The Shape of Water. To accept the award, director Guillermo del Toro went on stage to make his speech, backed by some of the incredible men and women who helped make the movie happen. I'm very, very proud. I want to dedicate this to every young filmmaker, the youth that is showing us how things are done. Amazingly, this was just one of the four awards The Shape of Water received tonight, also winning in the categories of Best Director, Original Score, and Production Design. Now, with Best Picture behind us, let's take a look at who took home the award in the acting categories. As many people anticipated, Best Actor went to none other than Gary Oldman for his performance in The Darkest Hour. And as much as we would have loved to see first-time nominee Timothy Chalamet scoop his award, Gary did seem appreciative of the recognition, and he even dedicated the award to his mom on her birthday. Um, I say to my mother, thank you for your love and support. Um, put the kettle on. <laughs> I'm bringing Oscar home. Along with Gary actor Sam Rockwell took home an Oscar tonight too, but his was in the category of Best Supporting Actor for his performance in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I've been in a lot of indies, and uh, it's nice to be in a movie that people see. You know? And speaking of Three Billboards, the incredible Frances McDormand won the Oscar for Best Actress for that same movie. And when we say her acceptance speech was incredible, we mean it. So I, I think this is what Chloe Kim must have felt like after doing back-to-back -back 1080s in the Olympic half pipe. Did you see that? Okay, that's what it feels like. Not only was Frances deserving of this award for the amazing work she did in the movie, but her speech gave us chills all over our body, especially at the end when she asked for all the women who were nominated to stand up with her to be seen. I'm getting like, emotional even thinking about it. The actors, Meryl, if you do it, everybody else will. Come on. The filmmakers, the producers, the directors, the writers, the cinematographer. Okay. That was so freaking awesome. But Frances was not the only actress to get recognized for her work this year. Allison Janney took home a well-deserved award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in I, Tanya. I did it all by myself. <laughs> okay, nothing further, nothing further from the truth. And even though those are the awards that most people are going to be talking about over the next couple of days, we cannot forget some of the other notable achievements of the night. Following closely behind The Shape of Water, Dunkirk won in three categories, including Best Film Editing, Best Sound Editing, and Best Sound Mixing. Right behind Dunkirk, Blade Runner 2049 earned the awards for Best Visual Effects and Best Cinematography, while the animated film Coco won the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature Film and Best Original Song for Remember Me. We know, we know we thought The Greatest Showman had that one in the bag with the song This Is Me, but hey, we told you there were going to be snubs. It's inevitable. Along with the acting, the cinematography, the sound, and the music, though, come some very important categories that we don't always immediately think of, like makeup and costume design, for example. Well, the Oscar for Best Makeup and Hair went to The Darkest Hour, while the Best Costume Design went to Phantom Thread. And before we wrap things up, some other notable awards of the night went to A Fantastic Woman for Best Foreign Language Film, Best Adapted Screenplay for Call Me By Your Name, and Best Original Screenplay to Jordan Peele for the film Get Out, which by the way, marks the first time a black person has ever won that award. So awesome. Well, now that the big night is over, how do you guys feel about tonight's big winners? Were the awards spot on or do you feel there were some major snubs? Let me know in the comments section below. Also click right here for more info on Jimmy Kimmel's opening monologue. Thanks for watching Clever News. I'm your host Erin Robinson and I'll see you next time.